I'm sure you've heard it, but the sport of chess boxing is currently taking over the world. Chess boxing. Chess boxing. Chess boxing. Chess boxing match. Chess boxing. That's actually not true. I lied. Uh, and I made most of those news pieces up. I don't think people even know that chess boxing exists. This is like the only YouTube video I can find about it. How am I supposed to make a YouTube video about it if I can't even find other YouTube videos about it? That's like my whole source of research. Where am I supposed to find like a, like a Matt, like a Matt Tom? Oh, first off, I should say, <laughs> chess boxing world champion. Former, you know, former, we, uh, former. We, we you win it once, <laughs> you win it once, and I'm then washed you, up. you <laughs> are there forever. That's how it goes. I'm so excited for this. What kind of board are we talking about here? What, what did what'd you bring? Oh, I thought you had the board. I didn't bring a board, you the chess <laughs> I guess I am. I'm, a, I'm the your host. hometown This guy. right here is when I probably should have realized this guy's a genius. I, I might have a little travel board or something. I might. Uh... He carries around a little chessboard. Or just <laughs> you're really big. How cute is that? It's so small. Uh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't call his hobby cute if he's gonna punch me later. Well, let's let's just run a target. Explain to me like how it works on the way. So okay. Chess boxing is a combination of the board game chess, the most popular participation sport in the world. More people play chess than play soccer. Really? You combine that with uh, boxing, the most popular combat sport in the world. So how does that work then? Is you it like- You never do them simultaneously. It's not like I take your rook and then, you know, yeah, knock okay, it out. Okay. Three minutes of chess, I make a move, I hit my timer. Okay. Your timer starts counting down. As soon as that last second goes, the ref rings the bell. They pause the game, pause the timer, move the board out of the ring. Okay. We put on gloves, we box for three minutes. What do you look for in a chess board? Um, I mean, not cheap. Okay. <laughs> you know, not like it's gonna fall apart. A little bit of weight to the pieces is, is a good thing. Okay. So they stay down, especially, you know, you're hitting stuff with your fists and yeah. they're trembling. So you're like, not always gonna put it down. The, the right difference spot. between a good and bad board, is it like like day and night? As a chess pun I mean, for you, I don't know I if mean, you caught that or not. Okay, yeah, I like that. <laughs> now that we have our board, we have to set up these two entirely different hobbies. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's see if you can set it up now. So okay. it's on the right square. Okay. <laughs> but I guess I never really thought about, is it hard to like move the pieces? Like when you have your yeah, hands wrapped yeah. up, when you're, you're probably like shaking a fair amount. Think about the tactile like requirements for that. Right. You got a lot of adrenaline going and then you have to do something that's very like precision oriented. Right. That's this is right? Yeah. You know? Cool. So the part of your brain that you use when you play chess is the most involved part of your brain. So that part of your brain is really good at uh, pattern recognition, visualization, strategic thought. Okay. That part of your brain is really bad at getting you out of stressful situations. The part of, of our brain that we use when we compete, when we fight, yeah. is the, the part that involves first. Uh, that's what gives us that fight or flight reaction. It really puts adrenaline into our system. And adrenaline is really bad for chess, yeah. really good for boxing. So like, is it round? Dang it. Now with our heart rate up a little bit, yeah, we'll just play a, a quick game of chess. Okay. This is going to be the easiest chess game you're going to play today, because after this, we're just going to be taking your heart rate up higher. Okay. We're going to be taking your adrenaline, more adrenaline in your system when we start trading some shots. Yeah. So th this is just kind of like a baseline. Let's see how you do. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. White always moves first, so you hit your timer. Yep. When that happens, I make my move. I hit my timer. Okay. It's called the England Gambit. Oh yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you know en passant? This is perfect. Are you setting me up for this? No, I'm not setting okay. you up for anything. En passant, when a pawn is on the fifth rank, yeah. and you move the, the two squares yeah. past, for that one move, it's like that pawn occupies both of those two squares. This is going to be the easiest chess game you're going to play today. Okay, so en passant is, I can take that. Oh wait, what? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I've never seen that in my entire life. Google en passant. I don't even know how to spell that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I actually used to play chess with my grandfather, and it was a great time, but it took a long time. It wasn't speed chess for sure. That's a whole different game. Ten seconds left. Nine. Eight. <laughs> Believe it or not, it makes it a lot harder. And time. <laughs> what I didn't really think about until right now is how scary a guy like you is because boxing's dangerous. And you're smart enough to recognize that boxing's dangerous. But you're like, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, see, I'm not on this channel to think about the repercussions of my actions. 
This is YouTube. So we're going to have our chess boxing match now. The rounds look like this, a three minute boxing round, 60 seconds of rest, a three minute speed chess round, and that's like technically round one. We're gonna do three of those. The tactics that go into chess boxing are really interesting and they're kind of similar to MMA. Hear me out. Early days MMA, everybody came from different styles. Very similarly, you might be better at chess when you get into boxing or boxing. And if you're better at boxing, you might want to try and knock your opponent out as quick as possible. But on the other hand, if you're good at chess, you might want to play the evasion game and try and stay away from whoever's trying to punch you in the head. What I call the thinker. Good round. Fun round. Woo! So how long do we have a minute? We have a minute. Okay, let's go. Big inhale. Big exhale. And start trying to exhale longer than you inhale. Just notice where your heart All right, is. Good luck. Good luck. So to help manage and prime ourselves, for switching from chess to boxing, boxing to chess. You wanna signal to your body that it's time to do the next activity. The way that I do that okay. is I, I use two breaths from yoga. So oh. now we start our four count breath. Inhale for four. Three. Yeah. Okay. The downer breath, uh -huh. after a boxing round, we wanna calm down, be able to focus on the board, not be thinking about the past boxing round, not be thinking about the next boxing round, not be thinking about anything except for the, the board's position and pattern recognition and visualization. Right. Is a downer breath okay. called Samavriti. Hold one, two, three, four, exhale. Yeah. Right, it's tough, right? Okay. That's called box breathing. That's hard. It's really hard. Especially after like. Okay, ready? Yeah. Big breath in. Out. And begin. Tough, right? That's really hard. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's hard. Okay. A lot of that is just getting a head start on your opponent. The, yeah. You already feel calmer, right? I could feel that, yeah, actually. Like, feel yourself. That is pretty crazy. And that was like 30 seconds. Yeah, no, we were going hard. Yep. Yeah, no, that's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> you the get the hardest carbon. part is definitely the bottom. Yeah, yeah you, absolutely. Where it's like, okay, here we go. All the air is out. I've got to breathe in. Hold up. Wait. Mm. Wait. Mm. Wait. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good stuff. And now we're cycling up, right? Oh yeah. And if you think the breathing to move into the chest portion is funny. Okay. Breath work is how you manage your state change. We're going from a rested state to an active state. Okay. Rested playing chess, active boxing. Okay. The way we do that is we prime with breath work. So we're gonna use what's called a fire breath. Okay. In order to do that. Okay. So what I want you to do is take a big inhale all the way to full. Sipping a little extra air at full. So you thought you were full, but you weren't, right? So now you feel full lungs. I want you to slowly exhale all the way down to empty. Relax your full. So when you inhale up to 60. Okay. And then force exhale down to 30. We're gonna do that, we're gonna try to do that 108 times. Holy crap, in one minute. In one minute, okay. 60%. And force exhale. Six, inhale, exhale, scan your body, notice any differences in your biochemistry. Mm. Buzzing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only one set. Especially my face and head. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Big breaths, big breaths. Sharp inhales, long exhale. 
Okay, so run me through the history of chess boxing. Chess boxing was created in 2003, and it was born from art. Uh, so there, there was a, an artist in Berlin named Ipe Rubing. He's the founder of our sport. And he was inspired by a comic book where the protagonist would summon his antagonists, his okay. victims, yeah. onto a chessboard and do mortal combat on a chessboard against them. That's pretty sick. And he was like, this is so cool. Yeah. I want to do like a live action, uh, you know, physical performance of this comic book idea yeah. that is chess boxing. Right. So he rented out an old church in Berlin. He packed it out, 400 tickets sold. Wow. And he had the first ever chess boxing match against a lawyer that he ended up knocking out. Nice. And crowd went wild. He had yeah. a line around the corner of people who uh, either wanted to come to a future event, which yeah. he had no plans of, yeah, or to sign up to fight in this because they wanted to try it. Oh, wow. So he was like, I might be onto something. Yeah. And he just started planning these events and they kept selling out, selling out, selling out. It kept growing in Berlin. Yeah. The first major shop that did it was London. Uh, and if you've ever seen a chess boxing video, that wasn't Ludwig's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it came from London Chess Boxing. They did a much better job of capturing their events, yeah. uh, putting the chess board so you could see the game at the same time as the competition, so yes. you could actually understand the chess, right. and putting it on YouTube for people to find. I found chess boxing through a YouTube video. Oh, really? I, uh, around the same time, was in the martial arts. I was a lifelong chess player, and then competed in college as a boxer. Okay. I ended up sustaining an injury. Uh, I dislocated my shoulder in a fight. I was laying in my, my recovery bed, getting chubby, yeah. uh, watching, old fights on YouTube, playing online chess, just passing time. Yeah. And a chess boxing video popped up on my next up, yeah. my recommend it for you. Yeah. I didn't even click on it. It auto played. Wow. So the sport, because of Google's algorithm, yeah, right. look at, you know, peeking under the hood of all the yeah. things I'm interested in, served me a chess boxing video. And I found, I tracked down the, the founder of the sport, Ipe. I sent him an email, I was like, Whoa. hey, hope you see this someday. Yeah. Uh, I love what you created. I want to be involved with it somehow. I feel like I was born for it. He responded eventually and basically just said, hey, uh, you know, when you're healthy, when you're recovered from this surgery, we'll plug you in. We'd love to have an American in a match. There's really no one doing it from America yet. Right. And so a year and a half later, uh -huh. I reached back out to him. I'm sparring again. I feel good. I feel healthy. Yep. Uh, I've been playing chess, been trying to like shake off the rust right. uh, from competitive days. I reached back out to him. I'm like, hey, I think I'm ready. You know, I'd love like a, a, a build up match, you know, something to try it out. And he said, well, you know, the only thing left the rest of the year is the world championship. I was like, okay. And my introduction to the sport was the first round of the world championship. Whoa. Yeah, so, so the hypothesis that people weren't treating that minute in between rounds as important as they should be yeah. ended up paying off in a, in a really big way. Because uh, my, my semifinals match, I ended up getting a, a little bit of momentum in the boxing mm -hmm. that wore him out. Yep. And then because of fatigue, he made a mistake. Uh, in chess, I ended up checkmating him. And then in the finals, this guy was better than me at, at chess and at boxing. Uh, he was outboxing me for the whole first round. And with about 15 seconds left in the round, I had him back in his corner. Yeah. And I landed an overhand right, like right on his temple. And I saw his eyes kind of go yeah. and roll a little bit. And bell rung right after me, he kind of staggers to his corner and I'm doing my breath. <sighs> Take the gloves off, sit back down on the board, I'm studying the position. He's late getting back to the board. Right. And it's his move to start. He picks up the wrong color piece and makes a move. Wow. Uh, and I'm like, this is it. Like, this is my chance. Yeah. He has a better position than me on the chessboard. Yeah. He won that boxing round even though I landed one good shot. Right. But right now, like, I can build momentum. He's not all there. Yeah. But because of where he was, he made a lot of mistakes. Nice. And I ended up uh, about 30 seconds before the end of the round getting a checkmate, winning the world championship, having that moment of, like, yeah. through all the training, the early mornings, the hill runs, the whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flying across the world and being in India and having my three American buddies celebrate in the face of hundreds of Indians. Yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> and, uh, and a big party that night. So nice, was, that's awesome. Was, yeah, one of the best moments and memories of my life. <clears throat> Check. Check.
try. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go out with dignity. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on my own sword. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I could. Oh! I was about oh, to. Oh, the time! I was I about to. The... Yeah, I was about to win, but then I ran out of time. <laughs> That was a great match. I don't get the satisfaction <laughs> of ending it. You probably do time. though, right? You do get the satisfaction still. It does not feel as good with time running out. <laughs> <laughs> I might have lost, but I lost. Oh, wait, no, I still lost. Anyway, Matt is a really cool guy. He's the founder of this organization called Brawl for a Cause. They put together charity boxing events. It's very cool. We also filmed a video on his channel where I teach him how to do spinning kicks as fast as possible. Go check that out, please. I guess I better do this before you try anything crazy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack that horrible pun. A little chest joke for you. <laughs> Said that one with my chest. Check that out. <laughs> oh, wait, dang it. <laughs> it's actually chest, okay.